today are we digitally ready? This is a question that teachers and learners are probably asking right now. With the advent of DepEd's Digital Rights Program, the Open Educational Resources, or OER, was woven together and finally realized. This project prioritizes the necessity to enhance the digital literacy skills of every teacher and learner in the country. Our OER mission is to connect the disconnected. OER is indeed an innovative initiative with a lofty aim to get disconnected schools and last my schools connected through ICT even without an internet connection. It is designed to cater to the need of these schools for interactivity, digitalization, and delivery of 21st century skills that will ensure that every learner is future ready. Join us in another training workshop and learn more about open educational resources, whose primary purpose is to provide support and assistance to learners and teachers in this rapid advancement of technology. Our goal is to build and strengthen the capabilities of public and private teachers, school heads, and supervisors by teaching you to create and design interactive, localized, and contextualized instructional materials for teaching using basic, advanced, and proficiency software and tools. Surely, this will be another exciting and engaging webinar training workshop. Together, let's all rise amidst this crisis. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulo, ito kalidad. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del P. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto, kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello mga minamahal ko mga magulang, mga learners. Isang magandang hapon na naman sa inyong lahat. Welcome kayo dito ngayon sa ating itulay session ngayong hapong ito. At syempre, wino-welcome ko kayong lahat at samahan niyo ako sa isang uh, uh, panahon ng pagkatuto sa Science Grade 9. Okay? Handa na ba kayo ngayon para matuto? At handa na rin ngayon si Sir Kevin para gabayan kayo ngayong itulay online tutorial about heat, work, and energy. Ayan. Sige. At syempre, live na live pa rin tayo sa ating Facebook page, DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Philippines, at DepEd Tayo. Ganun din sa ating official Facebook channel na DepEd EdTech Unit at DepEd TV. Magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Nakikita ko na meron na tayong mga kasama ngayon dito. Hi Ma'am Len Kasilag from Castor Alvear National High School. Ayan, share lang po natin itong video na to para matuto na sabay-sabay tayong matuto sa ating uh, uh, mga aralin. Anyway, sa Region 4 ay Calabarzon kasi LEAP po ang ginagamit natin. So, in sync tayo doon. Okay? So, learners and parents, welcome sa ating online tutorial. With Shempre, with Tutor Kevin. We are now here at quarter four, week six. Ayan, napakabilis talaga ng panahon. Time flies so fast. And we, you have reached the sixth week ng itulay session. Ayan, at syempre, para makapag-participate din kayo, pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating comment section. 
sa ating official Facebook page at I'll try my best para basahin ito ngayong hapon. Okay? Sige. Ang ating most essential learning competency ngayong hapon ito is to construct a model that heat can do work. Pag-uusapan kasi natin is all about heat. Ito ay nanggaling sa code na science line FE-4E-42. Ayan. Sige. Pero before we begin, magpunta muna tayo ngayon sa review sa pamamagitan ng pagsagot sa multiple choices questions at ang direction lang natin. Read each question carefully, then isusulat nyo ang inyong sagot. Pwede sa sagutang papel o pwede namang directly sa inyong comments sa ating official Facebook page. Okay na ba kayo? Ready na bang lahat? Ayan, watching from Alipang National High School. Hello? Ayan. Share lang natin ang mga video natin sa inyong mga kaklase at kapwa grade 9 ano, para syempre ma matulungan po kayo ngayong hapon ito. Siya nga pala po ang ginagamit kong module ng galing po sa Region 4A eh, Calabarzon. Ito tinatawag nating Learner's Pocket. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga writers nito, especially sa ating regional director, Sir Francis Bringas. Thank you so much. At sa mga writers ng Grade 9's Leap Science. Gusto ko lang banggitin yung kanilang pangalan ngayong hapon ito. Mga mamat sir, idol ko po kayo. Ang writers na ito ay si, uh, ang writer si Ma'am uh, Mary Jean B. Barrera. At ito ay chinek ni Ma'am Edna Gabriel, ni Sir Rizalito A. Licos, ni Ma'am Mary Ancaso at ni Ma'am Rochelle Rosales. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-prepare ng leap na ito. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Sige, let's begin. Question number one. Moving back, which of the following is true of, this, uh, of the conservation of energy in a closed system? Is it letter A, kinetic energy is always conserved? Is it letter B, potential energy is always conserved? Is it letter C, mechanical energy is always conserved? Or is it letter D, the total energy is always not conserved? Alin sa mga yan ang totoo tungkol sa conservation of energy in a closed system? system. Okay, five seconds, go! Type in your answer in our comment section. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let us answer this one. Alin kaya dyan ang totoo tungkol sa conservation of energy in a closed system? The answer is letter C. Mechanical energy is always conserved. Okay, that is in a closed system. Now, number two, the mechanical energy of a system of object is, ulit, the mechanical energy of a system of object is, is it letter A, the sum of kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy? Is it B, the sum of kinetic energy and elastic potential energy? Is it C, the sum of kinetic energy and all relevant forms of potential energy? Or is it D, the sum of all forms of energy. Sige, five seconds, go! One, two, three, four, five. The correct answer is letter C, the sum of kinetic energy and all relevant forms of potential energy makes up the mechanical energy of a system of object. Okay, now let's have number three. Mechanical energy is not conserved when letter A, gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. Is it letter B, kinetic energy is converted to gravitational potential energy? Or is it letter C, kinetic energy is converted to elastic potential energy? Or is it letter D, friction is not negligible? Sige, timer starts now. Tama si Cheska, tama si John Roy, tama din si uh, Marcasi Restisho, tama din si Crisanta Jane Valencia. Hello! Congratulations sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon. Watching and learning from Donya Magdalena H. Gapo High School, uh, Grade 9 Scorpio. Hello sa iyo, Mika or Mika Janelle Takaban. Good afternoon. Okay, let's answer number three. Mechanical energy is not conserved when... Letter D, if friction is not negligible, hindi na ko conserve ang mechanical energy. Halimbawa, magaspang ang sahig, o kaya bumpy. So, that is when mechanical energy is not conserved. Next, number four, which event illustrates the direct transformation 
of potential to kinetic energy? Is it letter A? A basketball player catches a flying ball. Is it letter B? A kalesa moves from rest. Is it letter C? Kathy's arrow is released from its bow. Or is it letter D? The spring mechanism of a toy is rotated until it locks. Ano dyan ang nagpapakita ng pagbabago ng potential papunta sa kinetic energy. 5 seconds starts now. Ayan. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is... Ayan. Nice try, Mika, John Ray, uh, and Micah. Nice try. Number 4. The answer is, syempre, a kalesa moves from rest. Kapag siya ay... Na, nasa state of rest pa lang, of course, it's potential energy. And then when the kalem, um, GHS. Okay. Share, share lang tayo ng video na ito para matuto tayo lahat. And last number five. If mechanical energy is conserved in a system, the energy at any point in time can be in the form of ulet. If mechanical energy in, is conserved in a system, the energy at any point in time can be formed into Letter A, kinetic. Letter B, gravitational potential. Letter C, elastic potential. Or letter D, lahat ng ito. What is the correct answer? Five seconds, go. Ayan. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Number five, the answer is... By the way, tama sa number four si Zian. Tama din si... Uh, Si Angeline Uwalat, congratulations. Number five, the answer is letter D. Siyempre, it can be, it can form into kinetic, gravitational potential, elastic potential. Okay, when mechanical energy is conserved in a system. Alright, so the answer is letter D. Tama si Cheska Eunice. Tama din si Joseph. Tama din si, uh, uh, is it Ainel? Ang ganda naman ng pangalan mo po. Crisanta Jane, tama din si Cassandra Nicole Miguel, si, si kanina pa tumatama tong si Marcasi Respicio, congratulations po ha. Ayan. Tama din si Angeline, tama din si uh, Jerina May Tobias, tama din si Wendy Nicolas, tama din si Zian. Okay, congratulations to all of you. Okay, ngayon, pumunta na tayo sa ating aralin ngayon. No? So relationship among heat and efficiency. We will try to look at what can heat do. Okay? So, look at this. Heat production is very important. Diba? Kinakailangan ng heat production actually sa lahat ng gawain nating mga tao or may it be other organisms no? kinakailangan natin or essential si heat. Okay? So, if we move, we produce heat. Tama? And of course, essential din to sa industrial application. So, yung mga nagtitimpla ng mga, ng mga chemicals, ayan, so yung mga gumagawa ng mga plastics, heat production is essential. So, mahalaga pala talaga si heat production. No? Halimbawa, ngayon, itong ilaw na meron ako ngayon sa bahay, it produces heat. Okay? So, halos lahat naman. Naalala ko sabi ng isang engineer, pag daw magpapakabit ka ng aircon, dapat alam mo kung ilan ng tao na isa sa mga requirements para malaman mo kung tama ba yung aircon na ikakabit sa kwarto mo, is dapat alam mo kung ilan ang tao na matutulog sa kwarto. No? Kasi yung bawat isang tao, it produces heat. Kung ang titira doon, kunyari 0.5 horsepower lang yung aircon mo, pero limang tao ang matutulog sa kwarto mo, Hindi times 5 yung mapoproduce na heat. So matata, medyo may, may factor yon para doon sa, sa paglamig ng kwarto mo. The more na mainit o the more na maraming tutulog doon, the more na mas hindi mo mararamdaman ng lamig. Kasi nga, accumulated na yung heat. Because our body produces heat. No? Pero ang gusto kong malaman ninyo, Hi, good afternoon from Marian, uh, from Doña Magdalena H. Gafford High School, Grade 9 Scorpio, Lorenza Joy, Salvador, good afternoon sa'yo. Okay. Pero ang gusto kong maintindihan natin, meron kasing pagkakaiba pag sinabi natin heat at temperature. Again, it's not temperature, ha? it's temperature. Ano yung difference ng dalawa? Pag sinabi kasi natin heat, ito ay energy. No? Enerhiya na natatransfer 
move from one object to another due to the difference in temperature between the two objects. That's heat. Malinaw, halimbawa, meron kang mainit na tubig sa baso, nilagyan mo ng kutsara, yung init or yung hot molecules is transferred to the uh, to the metal spoon. Ano? Malinaw. Halimbawa, sobrang init ng araw. Tapos umakit ka sa bubong nyo, eh di mapapasok ka dahil sa sobrang init ng bubong. Okay? So because there is a transfer from one object to another. What is temperature? Halimbawa naman. Pag sinabi natin temperature, it's the hotness or coldness of an object. No? Init o lamig ng object. Na may measurements, siyempre, sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng thermometer. No? Meron tayong thermometer. If, if the temperature is too high, ibig sabihin, kapag mataas ang temperatura, it's hot. When the temperature uh, in, uh, is going low, the temperature is becoming uh, low or cold ang effect niya. Malinaw tayo? Kaya kapag nilalagnat ka, Mataas ang temperatura mo, 37.38, 39.40. Ibig sabihin, mainit ang inilalabas ng katawan mo na init. At kaya ang temperature niya gets too high. Pag naman ikaw ay lamig na lamig, your temperature tends to become low because the temperature reading is like 36, 35, no? Sa mga ganong mga pagkakataon. Okay, so that's the difference between heat and temperature. And then pag sinabing heat, that is energy transferred from one object to another. Pag sinabi naman nating temperature, this is the measurement or the hotness or coldness of an object. Okay, parang siya lang. Kapag mainit, pursigido. Kapag naman ang lalamig, nararamdaman mo. Okay? Okay, hello po. Mary Joy uh, Parantar watching from UK na in the graded school, Alabel 1. So, kita talaga natin itong mga to from District Division of Sarangani. Hello sa inyong lahat. Hello, uh, General Agustin from uh, Dona Magdalena Gapo Dice. Very good talaga itong school na to, kasi lagi nakatune in, no? Ayan, meron sa Section Ari, si John Ray, Section Scorpio of the same school. Good afternoon, Lorne, uh, Ma'am Lorna Nevado Manangan. Good afternoon po. Ayan, meron pa tayo dito watching from Mandaluyong City. Uh, Bonifacio Javier High School from Mandaluyong. Hello sa iyo, Joseph. Good afternoon. I hope you enjoy this uh, lesson. Now, pag-usapan naman natin yung heat and work, no? Kilala niyo ba itong nasa picture? Of course, hindi ko yan lolo. Siya si Jim Prescott Jewel. The pronunciation is Jewel, no? He existed from 1818 to 1889. Isa siyang scientist and he investigated uh, the mechanical equivalent of heat. Naisip niya, meron palang uh, equivalent ang heat, no? Okay. Then, nag-experiment siya para, para maimbestigahan niya talaga kung ano yung relationship or equivalent ng, uh, ng mechanical sa heat. Ito yung ginawa niya. I want you all to watch this. Ayan. Sige. Alright. Ah, sige. Ayan, meron cylindrical coloring meter. Gawa sa copper. Tinakpan ng water type lid yung device, ano? Sa labas nung cylinder, may veins. May spindle. May paddles din. Ayan. So, yung paddles, iikot siya. Tingnan nyo, equal yung, yung kanyang pagkakakabit. So, may drum, may handle. Yung handle actually iniikot. Okay? Ayan, merong string na merong dalawang object na may mass. May pulley. Pulley 1, pulley 2. Okay. Sige. Ayan, gumagamit ang thermometer, no? Yung palalabas sa noong calorimeter. So, inikot yung handle. 
tumataas yung object sa sides. Pabalik, bumababa. Okay? So, anong epekto nun? Okay. Ayan. Habang umaangat, umiinit yung tubig. Pag bumababa naman, bumababa yung temperature. Okay? Okay. Sa madaling sabi, mga learners, ayan, sige. Sa madaling sabi, mga learners, yung device na ginamit na yon ni Joule, kapag inikot mo yon, yung calorie meter, yung temperature sa loob nun, pag inikot mo, of course, that's mechanical. No? Kasi ginagamitan mo ng effort. Tumataas yung objects dun sa sides, di ba? Umaangat. Then, napansin niya, yung temperature reading, kapag merong mechanical work, tumataas yung temperatura. Kapag ipinalik naman niya, bumababa yung, yung dalawang objects sa sides, bumababa din yung temperature reading. Malinaw? I-apply naman natin to sa ating katawan. No? Halimbawa, ikaw ay takbo ng takbo sa iyo ng sa iyo, tiktok ka ng tiktok, galaw ka ng galaw, anong nararamdaman mo? Ha? Sige, ano pong nararamdaman mo? Of course, yung katawan mo ay nag-generate ng heat because you are moving your body. Ay e, subukan mong umupo ka lang. Your temperature will be will go down. Therefore, if there is an effort made or if there is a movement made, mechanical, uh, we say that as mechanical energy, merong napoproduce kang heat. Malinaw, kapag wala kang mechanical energy yung ginagamit, walang heat na mapoproduce. Okay ba yun? So, sa madaling sabi, ganun yung nangyayari. Sige, bati muna tayo. Hello, Justin. Hello, Benin. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Mary L. D. Seras. Ayan, meron tayong taga-dabaw di oro. Wow! Ayan, share-share lang tayo. Mga, miss, mga kaibigan. Ayan. Ang ganda naman ng section. Gusto ko yan, si Lavogie. O Lavoju, sabi niya sa French. Hello from Graydon SPA, Abadilia, si uh, Justin. Hello sa iyo, Daniela from uh, uh, kas, ano to? Daniela Cassandra Orate from Juan G. Macaraeg National High School. Hello sa iyo. Ayan. Ingat kayong lahat ha. Huwag mag mag maglalalabas ng bahay, okay? Sige. Now, let us go to the first law of... Malino na ba yung kanina? O halimbawa, itong charger na to. Yung charger na to, pansin mo, pansinin mo, pag tinaksak mo to sa kuryente, sa loob nito, nag-work to. Kaya, umiinit. Diba? So, alam mo yon may napoproduce kang heat once may nagpa-function yung mechanical energy. Halimbawa, sasakyan. Okay? Subukan mo ang sasakyan ay patakbuhin mo ng patakbuhin. Ang makina niya gagalaw ng mabilis. Ito ay iinit. Malinaw tayo doon. E anong gagawin mo naman? Yan na, nakikita mo yung temperature reading, tumataas na, mag-overheat ka. Siyempre, ititigil mo yung sasakyan mo para bumaba, tumigil yung makina. Therefore, wala nang mechanical energy. Bababa na yung temperature. Malinaw tayo doon. As simple as that. The first law of thermodynamics says, the change in internal energy of a system equals the difference between the heat taken. Oh, the heat taken in by a system and the work done by the system. We have two factors here. We have the heat taken and the work done. Malinaw tayo doon. So ano yan? Tingnan pa natin to. Internal energy of a substance is the sum of the molecular kinetic energy due to the random motion of the molecules. So may involvement dito ang molecules. No? Kasi syempre, the more that you the more that an object is uh, is rising its temperature, the molecules are faster, are moving faster. Okay? The molecular potential energy due to the forces that act between the atoms of a molecule, between the molecules, and other kinds of molecular energy. So ito yung mga, uh, mo, yung mga molecules na sinasabi natin dito. This is 
of course, we are dealing with the internal energy of a substance. Balik tayo dun sa, dun sa sasakyan. Pansinin mo, pag tumakbo ng tumakbo ito, yung makina niya, gumagalaw ng gumagalaw, iinit ang iinit yung makina nito. Ibig sabihin, yung tubig na dumadaloy dun, o yung tubig, or any fluid, yung molecules dun are also moving fast. I-off mo yung makina, dahan-dahan itong magmumove ng slower and slower and slower. Okay, hello sa iyo, Claren. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Eliezer. Hello, Mary LD. Ayan. When the heat flows in instances where the work is negligible, o sabi dito, kapag daw negligible yung heat o, o kaya, pang, uh, kaya pang matolerate yung heat, yung internal energy ng host substance o hot substance decreases. Okay, subukan mong ang sasakyan ay huwag mong lagyan ng tubig sa radiator. Ano mangyayari sa sasakyan? Patuloy na magiinit. No, kasi hindi siya negligible. Pero kapag nilagyan mo ng tubig ang sasakyan, pansinin mo kahit isa, dalawa, tatlong oras ka tumakbo, negligible pa rin yung heat. Ibig sabihin na negligible, malalaman mo naman kung negligible yung heat. Kahit may work, kahit nag-work na patuloy yung makina mo, basta merong liquid na nagbibigay ng uh, ng, ng, ng uh, sasabihin natin yung fluid na yun, nagme-maintain ng temper tamang temperature sa makina, hindi ka mag-overheat. Kasi negligible pa yung temperature kahit ang work done is sobrang lakas. Sa madaling salita, kapag uh, kaya ka, halimbawa, ito na lang, kaya ka nakakatakbo ng matagal kahit sobrang, sobrang, uh, sobra na yung mechanical energy at heat production mo, o mechanical energy na ginagawa mo, nakakatakbo ka pa rin. Hindi, hindi mo nararamdaman yung init kasi umiinom ka ng tubig. Isa pa, kaya mo nararamdaman na patuloy ka lang at hindi ka, okay pa ako, tak, pwede pa akong tumakbo, hindi pa ako masyado nagiinit. It's because yung muscle sa katawan mo, may tubig yan. Handaan natin that muscle contains water. Ito yung nakakapagbigay ng nagpapalamig sa katawan mo. The temperature, the heat is still negligible. Kaya yung temperatura mo, medyo hindi pa rin tumata, hindi, hindi tumataas ng talagang lagnat, nilalagnat ka na. Nakuha niyo gusto kong sabihin, ulitin ko lang, kasi magilis. Halimbawa, nag-e-exercise ka sa umaga, tumakbo ka ng tumakbo. Tumakbo ka ng 30 minutes, pansin mo, tataas ang temperatura mo, pero yung temperatura mo, hindi ka tulad ng temperature ng nilalagnat na tao, na 38. Ang temperature mo, within 37.5 lang, hindi ka nagka-38. Kasi nga, heat is negligible. Therefore, it, dec it, it decreases your internal energy of the cold substance and the cold substance increases. Malino tayo doon. Hello Arnold Garcia, hello Jai, kay Evangelista. Ayan. Sana po naiintindihan. Thumbs up nga po naiintindihan ako. Thumbs up. So, Pinag-uusap na natin internal energy in uh, thermodynamics. Thumbs up nga ako naiintindihan si Sir Kevin. Ayan, ako, wala nagta-thumbs up. Nalilito ba? While heat may originate in the internal energy supply of a substance, it is not correct to say that a substance contains heat. Okay? A substance doesn't contain heat. The substance has internal energy, not heat. Okay? So, the word heat is used only when referring to the energy in transit. From co-hot to cold. So wala talagang heat sa loob. Because heat is generated. Heat is not there. Gagawin mo pa lang yung heat. Kapag gumalaw ka, tsaka ka lang magiinit. Kapag ang makina ng sasakyan, in-start mo, tsaka lang siya iinit. Pero kapag hindi, hindi siya iinit. Okay, so thank you so much, Shaska. Okay. It's because of the internal energy. It's in the internal energy, ha? Ulitin ko lang. When the heat is... Uh, it is not correct to say that, that heat is a substance that... Con uh, that, sorry. It is not correct to say that a substance contains heat. Heat is generated. Okay? Sige. Now, I want you to look at this. The change in internal energy of a system is equal to that 
heat added to a system minus the work done by the system, wherein the delta U or change in internal energy is equal to the Q or heat added to the system minus the work done by the system. Sa madaling sabi, no, para makuha natin yung change in internal energy, dapat isasubtract mo yung heat added doon sa system. Tandaan, heat is added ha, hindi siya generated. Uh, it is generated. No? Heat is, you will just subtract the heat added to the work done by the system. Ima-minus mo yung na-add na heat doon sa system, doon sa uh, work na ginawa ng system. Okay? Sige. So, meron tayong derived formula from the conservation of energy given as how heat is related to work. So pag sinabi naman natin, uh, pag kinuha naman natin yung Q or the added heat, it is equal to that determine this, we need to add work plus the change in, ano yun? Change in, ano yun? Hmm? Change in what? Sige, wait lang ha. Change in, I have something in my screen ha. I'll just minimize this. Ayan. So Q is equal to W plus change in. Change in what? Change in. What is U again? Change in internal energy. Okay. So heat added to the system is equal to the work done plus change in internal energy. Sige, magpatuloy tayo. So, ang ginagamit nating unit dyan is J or Joule as our uh, SI unit for energy. SI unit for energy, we use Joule. The first law tells us that a system's internal energy can be changed. How? By transferring energy by either work, heat, or a combination of the two. Ulit. The first law tells us that a system's internal energy can be changed by transferring energy by either work, heat, or combination of the two. Normally, no, heat flows from a hotter object to a cooler object. Okay? Siyempre, katulad nga na sinabi ko kanina, kutsara doon sa metal spoon doon sa kumukulong tubig. No? Metal spoon is cold. Idinip mo siya doon sa mainit na tubig, then magkakaroon ng conduction of, electric, of, of heat. Okay? Transfer of, of heat. No? It is the reason, or it is for the re this reason that a pot of coffee feels hot to touch while scoop of an ice, ice cream feels cold. Malinaw? This temperature, the temperature of ice cream is lower than 37 degrees Celsius. Kaya siya, low temperature. Malamig. Kapag naman hinawakan mo yung cup ng kape, yung init mula dun sa hot water, ito ay na natatransfer doon sa Sa, sa tasa, kaya mainit yung tasa. No? Papunta naman doon sa kamay mo, kaya ka mapapasok. So, can you see? The heat is transferred. Heat is transferred, okay? When you touch a cone of ice cream, heat again flows from the hot cold, in this case, from the warmer hand to the colder cone. Ano mangyayari sa ice cream? Matutunaw si ice cream dahil, syempre, mas matas ang temperatura ng katawan mo. Na transfer yung heat doon sa cone, doon sa ice cream. Malinaw? The same thing, yung cold ice cream, makakapagpababa siya ng temperature doon sa hot temperature ng kamay mo. Kaya kapag nilalagnat ka, nilalagyan ng malamig na towel. Hindi hot towel ha, malamig na towel para bumaba ang temperatura mo. Hawakan mo yung, hot, yung cold towel, maya-maya, siguro after 5 minutes, medyo mainit yun kasi na transfer yung heat doon sa towel. See, heat is transferred as well as the internal energy. The molecules of strands are transferred or were transferred from one body or one object to another. Alright? The response of the nerves in the hand to the arrival or departure of heat prompts the brain to identify the cup of coffee. Ayan. Kaya naman na perceive ng brain mo kung mainit yan o malamig is because of the nerve. Dun sa kamay mo may mga nerve. Pag hinawakan niya yung isang mainit na bagay, 
na re-receive yun ng nerve. Ginabato ni nerve sa brain, sasabihin ni brain, mainit, bitawa mo. Ayan. So, okay, malamig. Sabi ni brain, bitawan mo rin. Kainin mo. Malamig yan kasi na-perceive the brain through the nerve. Malinaw tayo doon. Okay. Ngayon, pwede itong reverse. Heat flows from the colder object to hotter object. With the use of heat pump, gagamit tayo ng heat pump. Ang heat pump, it is a device that allows heat to transfer from colder reservoir to a warmer reservoir, which is not a natural process. Kailangan kasi nito ng mechanical involvement. Because work is required here. No? No? So, for the heat to flow from lower to higher temperature, the work is provided by the motor of the heat pump. So, meron tayong, parang sa poso, no? O kaya mga jetmatic. May, may makina yan. Hindi yan naturally uh, occur, occurring. It needs work. Ulit, pag sinabi natin heat pump from cold temperature, mechanical uh, work is done, then the temperature of, of the heat, uh, the temperature becomes from cold to hot. Okay? Yan nga heat pump. So ito, how does a heat pump work? Paano gumagana yung heat pump? So heat in, so may evaporation, then may, may compression, may condensation, may expansion. Ganyan, so ito yung nangyayari sa kanya. Ito yung nangyayari, animation na yan. Umiikot yung, uh, so may compressor siya. Wherein the heat comes uh, in, so, so may evaporator siya, dadaan siya sa compressor. So may expansion, then heat goes out through a condenser. Okay? So the water molecules are uh, are passing through the condenser, then heat goes out. So meron tayong tinatawag na spontaneous at non-spontaneous. Ano naman si spontaneous at si non-spontaneous? Pag sinabi natin spontaneous, from higher temperature to a lower temperature. Ito, hindi ito nagre-require ng external energy. Pag spontane, non-spontaneous naman, kabalik ka naman, heat flows from lower temperature papunta sa higher temperature. It needs mechanical energy, katulad ng heat pump. No? So, ayan. Spontaneous, hindi kailangan ng, mechanic, ng external energy. Pag non-spontaneous, kailangan niya ng mechanical energy. Okay? So, sige. Answer tayo. Ay, de, sulat nyo ang S kung spontaneous o hindi nagre-require ng external energy or kung siya ba is non-spontaneous o nagre-require ng mechanical energy. Number one, melting of ice. Spontaneous or not spontaneous or non-spontaneous? S or NS? Hello, Hannah. Hello, April Valdez. Hannah Salvador. Julian Lucille. Jaya Castro. Hello. Ayan. Hello sa iyo, uh, Cyril, Lapay, Marcasi Restisho, Ayan. Arnold Garcia, Shiaska Yunis, uh, Raras. Ayan. So number one, melting of ice. The answer here is spontaneous or non-spontaneous? It is a spontaneous. Crossing of iron. Spont uh, okay, number four. Now na si number four. Going uphill is non-spontaneous. Sige, sigutin nyo muna yung uh, 2, 3, 5, go. I'll give you 10 seconds. Yan, tama si Jaika, si John Roy, tama din si Cheska, tama din si uh, si uh, Respicio, ayan, si Arnold, tama din. Number 4, okay, number 2, Rusty of Iron. Spontaneous. It's, it, it naturally occurred. Number three, marble going down the spiral. It's done spontaneous. It needs mechanical energy to move. Number four, going uphill, you need also involvement of mechanical energy for you to move. No? And number five, siyempre spontaneous, keeping the food fresh from spoilage, you need to put it inside a refrigerator. All right? Ayan. I have here other examples. Sige. Other examples, ayan. Halimbawa naman, meron tayo ditong uh, uh, 
rice cooking. Pag nagluto ka ng, ng kanan ng bigas, spontaneous or non-spontaneous sa rice cooking. Spontaneous or non-spontaneous. Ha? Pag nagluto ka ng bigas, it's a non-spontaneous process. Bakit? Eh, siyempre, kinakailangan ng mechanical energy. Kung rice cooker yan, o kaya kung iyan ay nagpanggatong. Mechanical energy. Halimbawa, nalaglag yung, halimbawa, yung itlog na basag. Spontaneous or non-spontaneous? Ha? Nabasag yung itlog. Non-spontaneous pa din. Pag naman, drying of leaves, natuto yung dahon. It's naturally occurring. It doesn't require mechanical energy or external force. So it's spontaneous. Ayan. Ano pa? Waterfall. Spontaneous din siya. Okay? Ano pa? So yun, yung mga example natin. Sige. Okay. Quiz na tayo, mga kaibigan. Sige, ganun ulit. Very good naman kayong lahat sa inyong mga answer. Ayan. Quiz tayo, ganun ulit. Multiple choices. Tulad ang sagot sa ating, sa, sa ating chat box. Ready? Okay. Number one. First law of thermodynamics deals with A. Conservation of mass B. Conservation of energy C. Conservation of momentum or letter D. Conservation of pressure What is the answer in number one? Go ahead. Kaya nararamdaman ko na ang init na yung hapon ito. <laughs> Halimbawa, ayan, nagsasalita ko na nagsasalita, no? Mararamdaman ko yung lalamunan ko umiinit. Kanina, walang init yan. Yan umiinit kasi work is done. That's why heat is generated. Okay? One, the answer is letter B, conservation of energy. Ang galing naman ni John Roy Francis de la Cruz, ni Daniela Crasanta, ni Cheska, ni uh, Arnold, ni Micah, ni Cheska. Congratulations. Kinikilagutan ako sa inyo. Ah. <laughs> Congratulations sa inyo. Okay? Next, number two. All of the following are examples of spontaneous reaction except A, going uphill, B, melting of ice, C, keeping food fresh from spoilage, or later D, rusting of iron. Lahat yan, example lang spontaneous reaction, except sa alin dyan, sa apat na yan. Go! Hello, uh, Ramadin Sarandona Abdul. Hello sa iyo from, uh, watching from CCNHS Rojas District 4. Hello. Ayan. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat sa mga natutok. Nakatutok ngayon sa ating online e 2 live session tutorial with Tutor Kevin and I hope you are all learning sa inyong hapong ito, okay? So number two, the answer is alin dyan ang hindi spontaneous? Of course, it's letter A. Tama na naman si Cheska, si Jocelyn, si Micah, si Stephanie, si Arnold, si Valine, si Imelda, si Cassandra Nicole. Bakit? O tama din si Micah Farinas. Bakit siya spontaneous? Bakit siya non-spontaneous? It's because it is it requires mechanical energy. Okay? Tama din si Maricar, o si Marcasi Respicio. Congratulations to all of you. Nakikinig talaga. Next, number three. How does the water from the deep well move upward? Water from the deep well move upward. Paano? Letter A, it occurs naturally. Letter B, it uses heat pump. Letter C, it uses spontaneous process. Or letter D, it flows from a higher temperature to cooler temperature. What could be the answer? Good afternoon po, Jody Pasino. Ayan. Lagyan nyo rin po yung pangalan ng school at SDO. At saka, syempre yung science teacher nyo para mabati naman natin ngayon ito. Like, mapasalamatan ko naman po. Okay? Number three, what's the answer? Type in your answer in our comment section. Again, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga writers ng Learner's Pocket from Region 4A, Calabar Zone. At syempre, meron pa rin po akong isang uh, ginagamit na reference. Uh, it is from uh, it is from uh, region office, regional office, uh, region 9, Zamboanga Peninsula. Thank you so much po. Okay, so the answer here is for number 3, the answer is number no, is letter sige nga. How does the water from a deep from the deep well move upward? Siyempre, kinakailangan mong gumamit ng water pump. 
Okay? So, kaya ka may poso. Kasi may water pump. Nagpa-pump siya. Kaya tumataas yung tubig. Tumadaan sa tubo, then siyempre sa gripo. Okay? Next, number four. All of the following are examples of non-spontaneous process except lahat ito non-spontaneous, ha? Maliban sa isa. Keeping the food fresh from spoilage. Going uphill. Melting of ice or breakage of egg. Alin dyan ang hindi non-spontaneous process. Or number four. Yan, tama si, sa number three, tama na naman ako. Ang gagaling. Ayan, tama si Marcas, si Respicio, si Cheska, si Micah, si Cassandra, si Jody, si John Roy, si Cyril, tama din si Daniela, Cassandra. Number four, the answer is letter B. Di ba? Non-spontaneous, sige. Scan muna natin. Keeping the food fresh from spoilage, spontaneous. Melting of ice, spontaneous. Breakage of egg, spontaneous. Letter B, going. Sige, scan ulit natin. All of the following examples of non-spontaneous process. What would be the answer? It's letter Okay, letter C. Okay, so baguhin ko lang po. Hindi ko na bago yung arrow. I'm sorry. The answer is letter C for number four. Baguhin ko lang ha. Sorry po. Ayan, number four is letter C. Non-spontaneous. Okay? Kasi spontaneous siya. Spontaneous process. Tama po kayo. And number five. That's number. What is the use of the heat pump or use of heat pump? Okay, what is the use of heat pump? It is used to transfer heat from colder reservoir to warmer reservoir, transfer heat from warmer reservoir to colder reservoir, change heat or transfer heat from to a colder reservoir. What could be the answer? Number five is letter A. Di ba pag si heat pump, yung colder reservoir to a warmer reservoir. Okay? So I hope you learned something from today's e 2 Lie online tutorial with me, Tutor Kevin. Sana po magkita-kita muli tayo. Konti na lang. Parang dalawang sessions na lang yata tayo. Sana magkita-kita tayong muli next Monday sa e 2 session, no? Science grade 9. Pakipamalita niyo po ito sa inyong mga kaklase, sa inyong mga kakilala na may kapatid na grade 9, kaklaseng grade 9, para sama-sama tayong natututo. Okay? Tama si Daniela, tama si Chaska, si Arnold, si Chaska, si Valin, si Marcasi. Wow! All of you are perfect! Congratulations! Perfect score! Si Cassandra, si Daniela, si Chaska, si Arnold, si Valin. Si Marcasi Respicio. Sino pa ba? Si John. Ayan. Congratulations to all of you. Ayan. Sige. Again, uh, sa next Monday, live na live pa rin tayo sa official Facebook page natin. DepEd Tech Unit. DepEd Philippines at DepEd tayo. And ganun din sa ating DepEd uh, Tech Unit and DepEd TV official Facebook channel. Huwag kayong magalala ang episode nito kung ito man ay na mismo. Ito po ay mapapanood mo sa YouTube. At mapapanood mo rin ito of course sa ating DepEd Commons. Hello, uh, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much our students for watching with you. Salamat po, Mamarka, si Respicio. Salamat po sa inyong pag-participate. Ayan, Juanji Macaraeg National High School. Ayan, shoutouts of course naman si Micah Parinas. Perfect ang score mo eh. Ayan, hi Micah, perfect. Thank you din sa'yo. Welcome, uh, Cheska. Thank you din po, uh, uh, Sir Arnold Garcia. John Ray, thank you din po. Salamat. Nakita-kita po muli tayo next Monday with me. Tutor Kevin for Science, Grade 9. And of course, don't forget DepEd TV every Tuesday two or 3.30 in the afternoon. And also every Friday, 3.30 in the afternoon. Okay, nasa DepEd TV din po si Sir Kevin. Thank you so much, uh, Krisha. Thank you so much. And I love you all. Wah, 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 wah. Keep safe and God bless you. This is Teacher Kevin saying, see you next week.
Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating itulay free online tutorial session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating itulay tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!